Hello, Sagittarians. Hello to all of the Sagittarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the first week in March. This reading is for all of the Sagittarians out there. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week in March. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Comment below also to let me know if this is your story. Also, if the reading resonates and you would like to show some support, I ask that you hit the subscribe link with the notification bell and the thumbs up image so that one, you are notified when new videos are posted and two, this video circulates to someone else that may need some enlightenment, encouraging words or clarity about their situation. And with that being said, we are going to start pulling your the energy of the cards for the sign of Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week of March. What is the energy for my Sagittarians for the first week in March? What is the energy? Okay. Some of you not talking right now, holding something in. Comment below, let me know. So we have the two, I'm sorry, the six of cups here. Six of cups. With the sun card, Leo's energy. Okay, what is this? Okay, we have the three of wands. Three of wands. Why is this three of wands here for my Sagittarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right. We have Ego in the reverse. Leo's energy. Some of you may definitely be dealing with a Leo. Have Leo in your chart or a Leo in your environment. We have the um, Two of Swords for your overall thoughts. Okay. You fear the chariot. Cancer energy is here. No, your immediate future energy is the chariot. I'm sorry. You fear the king of swords. Okay. How do others see you? Others see you as the king of cups. You have the king of cups. Okay. You're hoping for the moon card. And your outcome is the five of pentacles. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Let me see. Some of you may be walking away from something or maybe running away from something, trying to gain some type of freedom or something like that. Could be trying to stay out of the spotlight. Don't want attention on you. Wanting something to come to completion. Okay. But, so that you, you may want to reconnect with someone from your past, your childhood. With their six of cups. But I feel like some some of you are thinking about reconnecting with someone from your past that made you happy. Could have been a Leo. Because in the past you were waiting for this to come back in. It was a new opportunity. And you were waiting for something new to come in. But I feel like it didn't. And um, with the eagle card in the reverse... I feel like you may be tired of being in a, an illusion. Um, you are um, 
some of you may not be um some of you are not accepting responsibility for your part in this situation like it takes two to, to tangle i guess they that's what they say so if one person was like putting forth all this effort and you weren't then that will result in someone maybe falling back or cutting something off so right now your overall energy you have the two of swords you feel like things are not moving anywhere you may feel like you are blocked and unable to um i feel like some of you are overthinking the situation you're not able to make a decision and you're not following your heart like some of you are like just overthinking something but in the immediate future with the chariot cancer's energy you may be able to move forward but it's going to take willpower yeah you may be able to move forward in this situation but it's going to take willpower for you to do it you fear you fear that um communication is not going to be clear you fear that someone may be um emotionally unavailable like this someone is emotionally unavailable you may fear that something is unfair i feel like um someone is you fear that someone is not going to be honest with you and they feel like you are devoted someone that they can trust they feel like you have a solid relationship so whatever is going on with you it may just be something that is in your head because you're overthinking the situation so you are hoping with the moon card pisces cancer energy again you're hoping that you're able to see through the darkness you may need to let go of your fears. You're hoping that you can let go of these fears that you have and listen to your intuition so that you can have some type of clarity about this situation. Excuse me. Yeah, see, you have the five of pentacles. Some of you, you're manifesting negative thoughts. Like some of you are in a negative mind frame. Just being negative. And when you think negative, you attract negative negativity. <laughs> and I feel like that's where some of you are at this time. Because I see the union is, is here. But if you're in a negative mind frame, it's like you are not going to be able to attract this, this happiness that you want that's on your mind you're not going to be able to reconnect because you're not you're thinking like in a negative negatively about the situation or the person see you need strength it's going to require that you have strength leo's energy again it's going to require you strength you're going to have to tame your emotions you're going to have to tame your emotions in order for this new beginning to come in with the ace of pentacles and so that you can move forward in the situation or move towards someone that you see as being worthy. But see, page of swords, there's still a delay. There's still a delay because you're either you or your person apply the energy as it fits to your story. Someone is being immature. Someone is being immature about starting a family or just reconnecting so that there could be like a happy home, a happy life, uh, maybe possibly marrying someone or being in a long-term commitment. And I feel like someone is not being honest with themselves and it's causing them to feel like overwhelmed, burdened, feel like... They're carrying the weight of the world on their back because they're not being honest with themselves about how they feel. Yeah, see? They have a decision to make. Le um, love the lovers, um, Gemini's energy. There's a, a decision to make. 
about coming in to have this communication. Like, should I come in quickly? Because I feel like someone wants to come in quickly to have a conversation. But there's some disappointment here. This could be you. You may be disappointed about someone being single and focusing on their money. Like, you may feel like this person is not paying you any attention or something like that. And you want a second chance. You want to start things over. So what's the outcome for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah, see, you're ready to put the work in. Eight of Pentacles and have this new beginning. Yep. You want you're ready to put the work in to start this new beginning. But I feel like you're still holding back. See, you're conflicted. Yeah, see, you're holding them back because something is taking too long for you. This, 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 it's taking too long to reconnect for you. Okay, so, um, wands. Taking too, it's taking too long for you to have this new passionate beginning that you want. Something is taking too long. It's not moving fast enough for you. And King of Wands, you're ready to take action. You're very passionate about this person. Feel like you're ready to offer them your cup of love. You're ready to take action. Offer them a new passionate beginning. Offer them your cup of love because I feel like you love this person. With this king of cups. But. But you're just thinking about it. You're just thinking about it. You feel like someone has options. Seven of cups. And you don't want to. You feel like you're going to be disappointed. And feel like you're um, backstabbed and betrayed. If this person rejects you. You, you fear rejection. You're fearing rejection. You're trying to listen to your intuition. Cancer Pisces energy. Some of you may be dealing with someone with the initials of J or B. But you're trying to listen to your intuition, but you feel like you're in the dark about something. You feel like someone is hiding something. And you don't want to be stabbed, feeling like you're being stabbed in the back. Yeah, see, you want to be victorious. In a situation. So you're not moving. You're not moving towards this person yet. I feel like you're waiting for spirit to show you when to move with the Hierophant. You're waiting. So Sagittarians, this is your reading for the first week in March. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe if you haven't and you want to show some support. Hit the thumbs up image so that this video circulates. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye.